next speaker will be Mark Taconet. So we'll be organizing this afternoon session in this way. I'll be announcing the next speaker once we have it on, on the floor. Thank you. Charles, go ahead. Thanks. Good afternoon. I've got the challenging first slot after lunch. Um, I'm presenting UNEP Live now, which is a website, unlike the ILAC um, uh, network uh, that I presented this morning. Um, at least it's partly a, a website. It's a, an open access platform to quality assured environmental information. And it's been developed at the request of, um, I've done it again, at the request of uh, uh, UNEP's member governments. Uh, now, now actually all the UN member states um, in our new environment assembly and uh, also the last session of the UN Environment Assembly um, encouraged other specialized agencies and governments to engage with UNEP Live. So the idea, it's not uh, UNEP's own website, it's supposed to be linking different communities of practice um, that already exist to, to, um, to share the information, help contextualize it. Um, in a way, it's about doing the, the type of work we've always done in the past, in particular the work through the Global Environment Outlook series of reports, and other work to keep the state of the global environment under review in a more efficient and dynamic way. So we have these thick reports that come out every five years, and often they're based on the latest available data, which can be many years even earlier. So the idea is to maintain the basic data sets in a, in a more dynamic way. Um, and especially link with different partners and communities that are already maintaining information on different issues. Um, reduce the effort required to produce each report um, and improve coherence um, by linking all the data exists. Um, encourage that data that once it's collected is used and, and basically uh, there's more attention to it. It's, it receives more peer review and, and, uh, and use as well. By the way, at the back of the room on the left, I have a series of, of some of the Global Environment Outlooks on little pin drives that look like lipstick, and a couple of um, other products such as report, uh, an atlas of our changing environment. You're free to take them. Um, at the moment, uh, UNEP Live is trying to basically pilot links to different sources of data. Um, uh, these include international sources, in particular UN Statistics Division and FAO. Uh, national sub, um, data in still relatively few cases where we can support dynamic links with the National Environmental Information System. There are a couple from, for instance, Kenya, where they have uh, national API links. Uh, Map Services, one in Latin America that I mentioned in the Caribbean, is called uh, GeoSor. It's a program of the Latin American Development Bank. Um, on the bottom left, you can see some um, land use data from the Caribbean they've included, which I think actually comes from the US government. Also, real-time information. On the top right, you can see the uh, IOC sea level sensors <coughs> network. Um, on the bottom right, um, there's the network of real-time air quality monitoring centers. And of course, brief analysis and links to publications. One that uh, we're developing at the moment is a uh, GEO, a Global Environment Outlook, or an environmental assessment focused on small island developing states that would be launched by the um, conference um, in early September. And for that, there was a network of, of practitioners, SIDS practitioners, that was established um, on UNEP Live and actually wrote the report and, and reviewed it. Um, finally, uh, I've already mentioned a bit about the capacity building work this morning. Uh, one, one particular tool that's been developed is called a National Reporting Toolkit, and it's basically software that governments and other organizations can deploy in order to manage their environmental data, publish it, and report, handle all the different um, international reporting obligations more efficiently and more coherently based on the single core set of national data. Oops. Um, just to finish, um, I think different presenters uh, this morning have referred to Transboundary Water Assessment Program and the World Oceans Assessment. Um, UNEP's also a partner in these, so my colleagues in Nairobi asked me to say a few words about them. I mean, in particular, one of the areas we're supporting for these assessments and can do for, for other assessments is work on data and, and information based on the UNEP Live platform. So we're hoping that the, the platform provides a backbone that can support work on a variety of different processes and assessments. And, and be linked with national capacity building. Thank you. Great, Charles. Thank you very much. Uh, 
Any questions? Yes. 